Trading trade is my cross the globe. Welcome to the short term trading live with Oscar. Trade is this video is being filmed on Wednesday night for Thursday's trading. Thursday would be 07 16 09. Last night we left you off with two trades we were looking at. We called for bonds to drop. We called for natural gas to go up. Bonds dropped big time, but natural gas did too. Sorry to say for you traders that bought the natural gas, we lost. Hey, what can you do, right? Dukes up, get right back into it and get ready for the next trade. But yes, natural gas gave us a little punch yesterday. And to top it off, we never got filled in bonds, so bonds went down without us. I know, double whammy, who needs to hear it, right? But hey, the bond setup was a great setup. And you get what you get when you play natural gas. That market is not for widows or orphans. It's not for people with pacemakers. And you get what you get when you play it. So try to stay out of that arena until the natural gas gives a real good buy signal. We'll talk about that next time it comes up. What we have tonight, though, tonight's topic is quite exciting. And it's something that we've been telling you about in the last few videos, in the last few classes at the site, and every day in the Omni Trading Academy. We have been preparing you for what's coming next, and that is this. The S&P is testing the head of the head and shoulders formation, and I have some charts I'd like to show you about that, but what I'm talking about, traders, is when you have a head and shoulders formation, many times you come out of the right shoulder and move up, 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 and get to about the middle towards the top of the head and you fail and when you fail there you have a miserable drop that happens many times when you have an upright head and shoulders and the head is being tested now of course no one knows for sure what will happen so there are two scenarios here if you fail at the test of the head which it's really getting there right now as we speak you will break down severely if you manage to get above the head, well then what will happen next is we will put in highs we haven't seen in the stock market since 2008. So I am here to tell you finally we're at a spot where we're gonna get a definitive signal in a trend direction. Meaning if we get above the head and shoulders, we are gonna blast off for a while. And if we fail back down we go. So this is a spot where we're all going to get a pretty decent signal for the next few days to weeks out. So make sure you're paying attention. Traders, I told you yesterday I was going to sidestep the S&P because I'm expecting this head test and then I'll get involved once we see it. Well, boy, oh boy, it went straight up to the head area on Wednesday. Wednesday night at this moment in time into Thursday, it's hovering right around the head of the head and shoulders. And I think I need to show this to you on charts, traders. So with no further ado, let's go to the charts. Okay, traders, a couple of things going on here. You are looking at the NASDAQ daily bar chart. This is the September NASDAQ daily bar. And one thing that I know for sure about the NASDAQ is this. The NASDAQ market is known for filling its gaps. As you can see, clearly there is a gap, a price gap below this market. If you look back on this chart, you will not find another price gap. I went back for months and months on end. There are no price gaps that do not get filled in the NASDAQ. There is a price gap. That means the gap is likely to be filled at some point, whether it happens tomorrow on Thursday, on Friday, next week. I don't know when for sure, but... With a gap like this in the NASDAQ, which is extremely rare, I say we go fill that gap. So watch out for your NASDAQ. Again, NASDAQ is really well known for filling its gaps. It's not known for a market that gaps open and runs away. It's not known for that. It is known for coming back down and filling its gaps. So let's see what we get with the NASDAQ. Now, all this talk about testing the head of the head and shoulders, I'd like to show you the next series of charts which should illustrate this for you and some examples of what happens when there is a failed test of the head of the head and shoulders. Let's look at the next chart. Okay, traders, what you're looking at here is the S&P September daily bar chart. Clearly you have shoulder, head, shoulder, right? The market came down, came back up one day, two days, three days, 
and is now about to test the middle of the head. If there is a failure in this area, then the market will likely break down severely. Conversely, if we actually get above the head and settle a couple of days above here, well, then you can likely have a major rally to higher levels that we have not seen since late 2008. But let's not call for that. Let's call for what normally happens with this head and shoulders, and that's generally a failure right in this area and a breakdown. We will trade what we get. We are going to start off with a neutral posture for the Thursday into Friday trading session, Wednesday night to Thursday, I should say, and then Thursday into Friday if it doesn't break out. But we will start with a neutral posture and see what happens around this head area. A failure means go short. If it gets above, you back off and see if you get a couple of settlements above. And if you do, the green light is on, baby, for the indices. But let's look at a few more here. Don't jump right into getting long here because we're probably going to have to sell this rally. Traders, as I've mentioned many times, I really want this market to go higher. I am a hopeful bull, but I do not trade what I hope for. I trade what I see and what the market gives me. And this formation, as you will see by the end of this chart segment, usually knocks a market right back down. Let's look at another chart. Okay, traders, now you are looking at the S&P. Very same S&P, September daily bar. This is a chart I showed you in the last two videos. And it is both a short and long term view of what's going on. Let's do the long term. Longer term, an inverted head and shoulders usually produces an up move over time, right? This is long term view. Nice V bottom forming, a nice inverted head and shoulders with a little V inside of it. So this whole thing is a bottoming pattern. But you have a very big right shoulder, oh, excuse me, a big left shoulder here. The right shoulder needs to fill in. As you can see, we have question marks waiting for it to fill in. While it fills in, it could have a lot of play up and down inside the shoulder. Now, let's look a little closer. Inside the right shoulder, which is forming, is an upright head and shoulders, and we are about to test the middle of the head as we do this video. So likely Wednesday night to Thursday, we will have our test of the head, of the head and shoulders. Now, I'd like to blow this up for you a little larger. What I'm going to do next is blow up just this shoulder so we can take a little closer look at the action that we'll be trading for the next couple of days. Take a look, traders. Okay, traders, very same chart, S&P, daily bar, September. But now I've blown up the right shoulder where you can clearly see the head and shoulders formation and this day, Wednesday, that rallied up nice and big and is getting towards the testing area. In fact, I say it's at the testing area now, and if we cannot get above the head, we will have a severe break. That's what this whole video is about. What normally happens when you have an upright head and shoulders is the first thing is a failure of the head and then the breakdown. Of course, as I said, if we get lucky and get above the head and get three settlements above the head, well, hey, Let's go to the upside, but for now, traders, let's trade what we have before us one day at a time. What we have before us is a definite pattern and a test of the head, of the head and shoulders. So that's what the S&P looks like. Let's look at it on a couple of more indices here. Okay, traders, we are now looking at the DAX, and the DAX clearly has a head and shoulders formation. And what's going on in the DAX? This is the German DAX September daily bar. Look at the test coming. You had the head and shoulders, slight breakdown. Now we're getting the test. Looks like we'll be at the middle of the head by tonight's trading, Wednesday night to Thursday. And if you fail up here, same scenario. Back down we go. So world's indices are looking very much like the U.S. indices, and they are mired in this head and shoulders pattern. Again, failure at the head produces a big drop. So keep your eyes on this in case that happens. I will repeat, we have a neutral stance or we are in a neutral posture at this moment. We will not trade this until the signal gets given, but we are ready at a moment's notice to hit the button and jump in depending upon whether it fails here or manages to rally up above the head. Let's see what we get traders. Let's look at another chart here. 
Okay, traders, after showing you the head and shoulders formation, and usually you get a test of the head, and if it fails, you get a breakdown. I started to scan some charts to show you examples. I found June gold. We're trading August gold right now, so the month right before this one, that was most active. June gold, there was a head and shoulders between January and April, and you know what happened here, traders? Shoulder, head, shoulder. Look at this. Comes out of the shoulder, goes right to the middle of the head, has a test right here, fails and begins to crack. Look at that, traders. This is a perfect example of a failed test of the head of a head and shoulders formation. And then what happens next? You get a breakdown. That is what we're expecting, but we know better than to just jump on board in the S&P for tomorrow. We're expecting this, but we're going to wait for it to happen before we do anything. Because if you just sold into it blindly, you'd be gambling. We do not gamble here at the Omni Trading Academy. We take absolutely calculated risks after doing tons of analysis. The risk is calculated before we ever put on a trade. This wouldn't be a calculated risk. It would be a gamble if you jumped in blindly. You wait for the failure first, and then you get in. You wait for the breakout to get above, and then you get in. That's how you handle this, so you got to see what happens at the middle towards the top of the head, of the head and shoulders at S&P before you react. Now I'm going to show you one more chart, traders. Okay, traders, Nikkei Daily Board. This is a perfect example of a failure of the head, of the head and shoulders, and then the ensuing result. hearing oh i got it i know what i'm hearing traders do you hear that do you see what i'm talking about you see those charts what goes up must come down if in fact it is a failed test of the head of the head and shoulders so get ready baby let's see what's going to happen here i hope it gives us the green light and blasts right through it and goes sky high traders but i don't think that's what we're going to get so let's be ready, let's keep our dukes up, and let's see what we get from this head and shoulders test. I want to say one thing, thank you so much for getting up here to do this test, because I've been waiting for three days now to do something about this. Trading NASDAQ once from the long side this week, and I haven't been able to trade any the last two days, because I've been waiting for this to happen. Now traders, if... You'd like to learn how to view markets like this and how to do technical analysis. And then, of course, how to implement the trading plan and how to stick to that plan every day. Simply come on down to www.livewithoscar.com. Grab a free membership. Jump in our free chat rooms. Take a look at our trade recommendations. Come to our free lessons and allow us to help you become a better trader. Now... With that in mind, I haven't had a real vacation in so many years, I can't even count. So you know what I'm doing next week, traders? On Friday, I'm stepping out of here. I'm not bringing a laptop. I don't want to know anything about markets. And I'm taking my kids to Disneyland for five, seven days. So you will not see me again on this video for one full week. I'll be back next week towards the end of July, so I don't think you'll get another video from me between now and the last week in July. If something insane happens and I got to come do a video, I will, but I tell you what, I could really use a vacation right here. My kids are going to love it. My wife is going to love it, and I need to reset the circuits. I need to recharge the batteries. I need to just let go for a little while because I stay on this thing 24-7. I never let these markets go. And I'm letting them go. And I'm going to Disney World. So that's the end of me for about seven days. All right, traders. Give me a call anytime there or night, except for the next seven days. And that number is 702-629-4755. And as always, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to keep your emotions out of trading is to say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, because it will help you keep your emotions out. And you know what that is? Stop soaring! Emotions are out! Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I'm a 27-year seasoned trader on and off the trading floors. 
This is how I've made my living for many, many years.